Okay, so in the last video, um, you actually found two geometric pictures of how Tn plus Tm plus 1 fits together to be an n plus 1 yeah. square. So let's just see. I don't even know if there is another one, but let's see if we can be creative and find another another uh, way to do it. Well, you probably want to end, you want to end with some sort of square. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't know if this, so like you can do, well, this is sort of, that's just, just the same way as before. Okay. Hmm. How would you, the only way you can, the only way, the way you found to represent the triangular numbers is diagonally. Okay. Yeah. So, we, but if we do that here. Well, you can't really yeah. represent them on a straight line because there's not enough. It wouldn't go, it wouldn't work even. So you could say, I don't know if this is going to work, but you could say here's one, two, three, four, five, but I don't know if that's going to do anything for us. Okay. Yeah, it's not, not clear that that picture is going to do anything for us. But uh, maybe we could come up with a, uh, a way, to, a different way to see the 2TN plus N plus 1. Okay, because where there is an obvious N plus 1 here. That's the center. Yeah, that's the one we've already used. So there's a new obvious N plus 1. Remember, this is N plus 1 squared here. So where's an obvious N plus 1? So maybe an edge. An edge, okay. So there's an edge. That's an, N, that's an n plus one. So can we find two t n well, in in here? Maybe these two rectangles. So that, I mean that would be two of something. Yeah. But maybe not. B t n. Well, what 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 is n in our picture here? N would be n is five. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking to see if we can find two. 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1s in, in the blacks. Mm -hmm. So here's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, why don't you flip those over? Here, you, do, you work from down here. You probably work from there. Okay, there's a 5, 4. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In fact, let me just remove these to avoid all the confusion. So. Okay, so there's a five, four, three, two, one. And then there's our second one. And then we have, we add in the n plus one. Yeah, so there's two tn. Two tn plus, plus n plus one. Plus n plus one. So that's another way to represent it. Yeah, that's another way to represent it. And do you think this will always work? Yes. Okay, why? Because you always have an n plus 1 as an edge, and then you can just use the rectangle and cut it in half. Okay, but why? Why do you think that, that you'll always be able to do that? Well, you'll always have an edge. Yep, you'll always have an edge, that's for sure. You'll always have an edge. <coughs> and then why do, then, you, do you have an n, n minus 1 all the way down to 1 well, after you take that edge This off? will always be n long. So you okay. have 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to n, n minus 1 long. Okay, and then what and do you have left? Use that flip. Then you have Same that. Thing. And so the interesting geometric picture here can you do you, do you see what this rectangle tells you? Well the so two times n minus one is n times n minus one. Well be be careful. Two so times what? Two times t n minus one. Okay. And what is Tn minus 1? What is it actually? What are the actual numbers that go so, into it? Well, it's Tn actually, but what is what are the numbers that go into it? So, um, it's, it's 1 plus 2, two plus, plus 3, 3 plus 4, four all the way up to n. Yep. Twice that equals what? Equals n plus 1 uh -huh. times n. Okay, so what does this picture show? So, it shows that twice T of n yeah. equals n plus 1 times n. Okay, so say that in numbers now. 
What is this picture? Like, what, what are the numbers? So you mean like twice? You mean like with this? Don't start with the word twice. You mean like with what are the numbers five? involved in this? Like this five? What are the numbers involved in this? They're the, tr the triangular numbers going one. One. One, two. Plus. Plus two. Plus, plus three. Plus four. four plus up five. to what? But up to five. Or n. Up to n. So one plus two plus three plus four up, up to here. plus n yeah. equals what? Equals one equals n plus one times n over two. Ah. So we proved that. So yeah. this is the formula you used before. And we just proved one it. plus two plus three up to plus n equals equals n times n, n, times n, n plus one. See over, the extra one. Yep. Over two. Why do you divide by two? Because you've got two of them here. Oh, yeah, we've got two of them. Okay. So cool. So this is a neat little uh, neat little picture. Yeah. The geometry tells us a little bit about the arithmetic, and the arithmetic tells us a little bit about the geometry. Cool. Fun, huh? All right, good job, guys.